Introduction In 222 BC, the Battle of Clastidium saw a Roman Republican army led by Consul Marcus Claudius Marcellus face off against the Incibers, a Celtic tribe in northern Italy. The Romans emerged victorious, with Marcellus earning the esteemed Spolia Opima by defeating the enemy king in single combat. Notably, the Roman cavalry played a crucial role in securing the victory without assistance from the legions, making it a rare instance of independent cavalry success. Background In 223 BC, consuls Publius Furius Philus and Gaius Flaminius led a successful campaign against the Incivers, prompting the tribe to seek peace with the Roman Senate. However, the new consuls, Marcus Claudius Marcellus and Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio Calvus, refused to grant peace. In response, the Incibers hired 30,000 Gaesate mercenaries and prepared to fight. The Roman consuls invaded the Incibers territory, besieging the city of Acere, nowadays in the area of Pisigetone, south of Milan. The Incibers attempted to aid the besieged by crossing the Po River and laying siege to Clastidium, a town in the territory of the Aenares. Marcellus rushed to relieve Clastidium with a small force of elite infantry and two-thirds of the Roman cavalry. Meanwhile, Gnaeus continued the siege of Acere with the majority of the army. Battle. Upon learning of the Celts' arrival, the Roman consul Marcellus led his cavalry to confront them. During the battle, his horse panicked, but he turned it into an act of dedication to the gods, vowing to offer the most beautiful enemy armor to Jupiter Feretrius. Veridimerus, the Celtic leader, challenged Marcellus to single combat. Fearlessly, Marcellus accepted and defeated Veridimerus with his lance. Inspired by their general's victory, the Roman cavalry fiercely charged against the Gallic forces, routing them entirely. Many Gauls perished, some even leaping into the Po River and drowning in their attempt to escape. Aftermath Buoyed by their victory, the Romans swiftly captured Acere, while the demoralized Gauls retreated to Mediolanum, their largest city. Gnaeus pursued them closely, appearing before Mediolanum. Initially, the Gauls hesitated, but when Gnaeus started returning to Acere, they launched a bold attack on his rear, only to be repelled with difficulty. Gnaeus retaliated by ravaging the land and eventually besieging Mediolanum. The Incibers' chieftains, losing hope, surrendered without conditions. With this triumph, the Romans conquered the largest independent Celtic tribe in Italy and firmly established their dominion over the fertile Po Valley, the peninsula's most productive agricultural region.